once again welcome back my dear students for standard 6 subject general science today we will be doing with module 2 for chapter number 7 nutrition and diet my name is ms jagjeet kaur students before beginning with module 2 let us recall what we have studied in module 1 so in module 1 we studied that nutrition is a process of taking in food and water and using it to obtain energy for the purpose of growth and other bodily functions. There are six main constituents in our food. Those constituents are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals and fiber. These useful constituents are called as nutrients. Carbohydrates and fats are energy giving nutrients and proteins help in growth and repairing the wear and tear of our body. Vitamins and minerals are required to improve the body's resistance to disease and other life processes. Our body also needs minerals like calcium, iron, iodine, sodium, potassium, phosphorus, etc. Some vitamins are water soluble and some are fat soluble, that is, water insoluble vitamins. And along with other nutrients, our body also needs water. Students, now let us see what are the learning objectives for module 2. So in this module, you all will be learning about a balanced diet, then the advantages of balanced diet, how to get a balanced diet. Then you will be learning about what is malnutrition, then how to avoid obesity, then what is junk food and what is adulteration of food. Students, before understanding what is balanced diet, in your previous class, you have learned about what is diet. So, tell me what is diet? Yes, all that we consume during a day is together called our diet. Now, what is balanced diet? A diet containing adequate quantities of all nutrients is called a balanced diet diet. A balanced diet on the right time and a regular exercise keeps our body fit, strong and healthy. Now students, to build a strong and healthy body, you need all nutrients like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, fiber, vitamins and minerals in the right proportion and in sufficient quantities in your daily diet. Now there are advantages of balanced diet. So the advantages are balanced diet helps to maintain good physical and mental health. Balanced diet increases capacity to do work. Balanced diet helps in the proper growth of the body and also Balanced diet increases the capacity to fight diseases. Students, now how we can get a balanced diet? Now to ensure that we get a balanced diet from the food we eat, we can make a food pyramid. All food which we eat is classified into various groups. And the space allotted to each group in the pyramid depends upon the proportion in which it should be included in our diet. And students, foods that can be eaten in larger proportion are placed at the bottom of the pyramid, whereas the food that should be the least in our daily diet is placed at the top of the pyramid. So hence, Daily, one should choose foods from each group according to the space allotted to it in the pyramid. 
and if we consume food from each group in the right proportion as shown in the pyramid we can have a balanced diet students can you recall what trouble do we have to face if we do not get enough fibers from our daily diet yes we may have to face the following troubles if we do not get enough fibers daily that is weight gain weight gain is also called as obesity then next is constipation then next question what care must be taken to make sure that fiber is not lost or removed from the food we eat yes we should take the following precautions to make sure that fiber is not lost or removed from the food we eat that is our daily diet must include leafy vegetables cereals that is whole grains and sprouts and we should eat raw fruits along with their skins students you know that along with all the other nutrients an adequate amount of water is also required for the proper functioning of the body we must consume plenty of water regularly and also drink some milk buttermilk lemon juice sherbets fruit juices etc now what is malnutrition malnutrition occurs when all the nutrients that the body needs are not obtained in the proper proportions from the diet and students this happens when a person does not get sufficient food or when the diet is not balanced and this results in reduced weight improper growth and decreased capacity to fight against diseases and also if we consume excess amount of nutrients it will result in over nutrition now students use your brain power and choose a balanced diet for one day according to your preferences yes the balanced diet should include breakfast lunch and dinner so yes in breakfast you can have oats milk egg apple and for lunch you can have roti or chapati any vegetables sprouts meat yogurt rice dal and for dinner you can have bhakri any vegetable and salad students now what is junk food foods which do not supply all the necessary nutrients are known as junk foods example chocolates noodles burgers pizzas chips bottled soft drinks attractively packaged snacks as also ready fried food stuffs available in the market such as vadas pakoras etc a very tasty and we like them very much however these food stuffs contain refined flour sugar oil in large proportions when refined flour is made from wheat or when sugar is made from sugar cane many nutrients in the wheat or sugar cane are lost in the process hence all we get from these foods is energy and our hunger is satisfied but our nutritional requirement is not fulfilled and naturally if we eat a lot of junk foods we will get insufficient quantities of the items from other food groups if this happens frequently our body soon experiences a shortage of proteins vitamins and minerals 
and that may lead to malnutrition and junk food if eaten frequently also causes obesity obesity is not good for our health now students how to avoid obesity now there are some do's and don'ts by which you can avoid obesity so we'll see first the do's which you are supposed to do to avoid obesity that is you should always have a balanced diet you should always eat cereals fruits and vegetables along with your skins and you should use bicycle for traveling whenever possible and you should exercise daily and what you are not supposed to do is that you should not eat junk foods or precooked or packaged foods you should not eat if you are not hungry and you should not use motor vehicles for traveling a short distance and also you should not watch tv while eating now let us understand about adulteration of food now students in order to earn more profits sometimes cheaper substances of poor quality are mixed with food stuffs these substances are called as adulterants and the process of adding them to the food stuffs is called as adulteration of food and adulterated food is unhealthy and harmful to the body and hence adulterated food is unfit for consumption adulterants may even be toxic to health toxic means harmful and they are added to the food in such a way that they remain unnoticed now let us see some common adulterants added to the food materials now in rice the adulterants added are small white stones in peanuts reddish pebbles or stones are been added as adulterants milk in milk adulterants added are water chemicals like urea starch in chili powder adulterants added are brick powder powdered pumpkin and in peppercorn the adulterants added are papaya seeds and in ice cream the adulterants added are washing soda and paper pulp now students you have to always remember that adulteration of food is a crime do not eat adulterated foods so students this was the end of chapter number 7 that is nutrition and diet now let us summarize what we have learned in module 2 we learned that all that we consume during the day is together called our diet and a diet containing adequate quantities of all the nutrients is called a balanced diet food pyramid helps us to choose a balanced diet and when all the nutrients that the body needs are not obtained in the proper proportion from the diet malnutrition occurs and also over intake of food results into over nutrition to earn more profits cheaper substances of low quality are mixed with the food stuffs these substances are called adulterants and mixing is called adulteration adulterated food is unfit and harmful for human consumption and foods that gives energy 
but not nutrients are called junk foods and the deficiency of any nutrient disturbs our health now students here is a homework for you all so the first question for your homework is fill in the blanks the first fill in the blank is if a person's diet exceeds his needs then it is called dash so what it is called yes it is called overnutrition so if a person's diet exceeds his needs then it is called overnutrition now the second fill in the blank pizzas chocolates burgers and ready made food stuffs are called dash yes pizzas chocolates burgers and ready made food stuffs are called junk foods then the third fill in the blank chemicals like urea starch are used as adulterants in dash yes chemicals like urea starch are used as adulterants in milk now the second question for your homework is you have to underline the correct word so for that the first question is a diet containing adequate quantities of all nutrients is called a junk food food or balanced diet so students which is the correct answer over here yes balanced diet so you will be underlining balanced diet then the second question adulterants are cheaper substances of poor quality which are added to food items increase or decrease the quantity and not the quality so over your students what is the correct answer it is to increase the quantity and not the quality so the adulterants are cheaper substances of poor quality which are added to food items to increase the quantity and not the quality now the third question is you have to match the food items given in group a with the adulterants usually added to them given in group b so the food items given in group a are chili powder ice cream rice peppercorns and the adulterants usually added to the food stuffs given in group b are papaya seeds powdered pumpkin washing soda small white stones so students in chili powder which adulterant is added yes it's powdered pumpkin so powdered pumpkin is the adulterant which is added in the chili powder then the next food stuff is ice cream in ice cream which adulterant is added yes that is option c washing soda then the third food stuff is rice in rice which adulterants are added yes very good small white stones then the fourth question peppercorn in food stuff peppercorn which adulterants are added yes papaya seeds thank you dear students